Okay, in this video, we're going to draw. Uh, we're going to practice drawing with Illustrator and we're gonna make a simple bow tie. So let me just show you what it looks like. Uh, so we're going to make this with Illustrator. And for this, we're gonna go to a new file. And let me close all this. So we're going to start first with our grid. We need the ruler and the grid. So I'm gonna say show rulers and I'm gonna say um, show grid. And when you open up the grid, you can see that every box here is one inch uh, on each side. And then there are four subdivisions. Uh, if you wanna change those subdivisions, you can go to preferences you can go to guides and grid and in the subdivisions just make it an eight now you can see that each box is one inch you can see it with the ruler uh, we're going to use about three of these boxes uh, lengthwise and then two in height and we're going to first go to our rectangle tool now um, you can change the stroke to maybe two. Um, you don't have to do a selection. I would recommend that this one is black for the line. And we'll just change the colors later on. So I'm gonna start here, by the way, before you do that, uh, you can also go to view and say snap to grid. If you select that, it makes it easier for your uh, mouse to just snap to the corners. So that just makes a better view. Okay, so I'm gonna make this um, ribbon this big. You can also always just um, zoom in. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so you see exactly where I am on this and you can see the little squares. All right, so we have our square. Now we are going to create some anchor points. And to do that, remember we use add anchor point tool, which is the pen with the plus sign. And I'm going to add an anchor point here, add an anchor point here, add an, let's see, add an anchor point here, and add an anchor point here. And if you guys feel like you're, um, okay. So now we're going to go to our direct selection tool and the direct selection helps us move our anchors. So I'm gonna move it three little subdivisions down. I'll do the same thing on here. And then I'm going to pull this one three down. You see how easy it just snaps to the corners. Uh, if you have snap to grid, it will make it a little bit easier. Okay, so we have our ribbon uh, outline anyway. So now we want to curve these corners. And remember what we use for that. It's the anchor point tool. So I'm going to go to the anchor point. You can click on it once just so it realizes we are going to work on this corner. And then you just, if you pull it this way, it does this. If you pull it the opposite way, it curves it like that, okay? So we're gonna do that for this corner as well. Okay, we go to this one, we, I clicked on it and I just curve it. Do the same thing here. Okay. So it's all curved. Um, now we are going to create the little uh, fold lines. So for this, I am going to use my pen tool. And let's see, I think we can actually change our, um, let's see. Uh, we can change the stroke to one or even 0.5. Let's do 0.5. We're going to take the pen and 
yeah, I just curve it just a little bit. Um, you can always go to this, click on something, or you can click on escape to get rid of it. Okay, escape. Okay, that's good. Escape. Escape. Okay, so we have those. Now I'm gonna go and use the rounded rectangle tool. And again, uh, we wanna make sure we move back to our two point um, stroke thickness. And I'm going to the rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to create this here, okay. Um, we can always color these now. At this point, you can just put a color on them. Go we'll select this and go ahead and select the color. Um, these, obviously, they had a color, so we will have to just make sure they're all selected. I should have changed that to this, to this uh, when I was making them, but apparently it selected white while I was doing those lines. That's why it's white. Okay, so now all we have to do is the ribbons. And to do the ribbons, uh, we can actually use layers in this case. So you can go to, let's click here. You can go to window layers so that your layers are showing. And we can create a new layer. And we're going to make the layers here and move the, this one below so that it is below the ribbon. OK, so the layers are going to be very easy. You're just going to select the pen tool. And you're going to go um, right here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. OK, so you're going to start here. Oops, sorry, just click here and go here, come here, curve it a little bit, and then go back here. Okay, and now we can do escape. All right, so this is one of our ribbons, and then for the other ribbon, you can do the same thing. Go here, curve it a little bit, and then And you're going to go straight up here and we are done. Okay, now if you go out of this, of course, you know, you can um, make changes if you don't like it. I think our strokes are still 0.5 here. So we have to change it to two. And we have to do the same thing on this one. Um, I feel like this piece is not um as thick as the other one so i'm gonna pull this up a little bit and i can always take the anchors and move them the way i need okay and we are done with the ribbon um so if you want to elaborate and do more with it i mean you can make a mini mouse if you want but uh this is just a simple way to draw uh, images on Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. You can save it as exercise 11, bow tie. And we are done.